بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم سلام خان ہیئر اینڈ ٹو ڈے ود دا نیکسٹ پراپرٹی دیٹ از ٹائم ان ویرینس سو دس بیسیکلی از دی سیکنڈ لاسٹ پراپرٹی اوکے نو بیسڈ آن دس پراپرٹی وی ہیو ٹو ٹائپس آف سسٹمس ائیدر دی سسٹم کڈ بی ٹائم ویرینٹ اور اٹ کڈ بی ٹائم ان ویرینٹ وچ آئی ہیو ناٹ ریٹن اوور ہیئر we could either have a time invariant system which i would be denoting by a tiv and we could have a time variant system which i would be denoting by a tv so now what is this now a time invariant system is a system if the system behavior is fixed over time for different values of time for different shifting of time you have the same system behavior we'll understand that this is the basic definition the basic concept of this topic that time invariant is a system whose behavior is fixed over time now how is this so you'll, know, you'll get to know it once we get going in the video a time shift in an input results in an identical shift in the output now what does this mean So again let's say if you have an input x of n in the discrete time domain you feed it to the system the output is y of n fine this is something now if you have a shift let's say if you have a shift in the output by a value of n not now if you feed it to the system so the the output will have the same shift of n not so this system would be a what a time invariant system whereas now for the shift if this is not equal to this the, so if the shift in the input is not equal to shift in the output so this would be a time variant system similarly you can have for the discrete time also y of t minus t not x of t minus t not would be corresponding to y of t minus t not Now coming to it we I explain it to a simple method The basic method is what you have an input x of t fine you feed it to a system you get what you get y of t Now you provide a shift to it you provide a shift to it let's say by an amount t not So the output could be y of t minus t not or t plus t not depending on the shift. Let's say I take it minus generally. Fine if you talk about the delay. Now what do you have? This is step number one. You got a a, a delayed output. Fine. This is your step number one. In step number two, what do you do? You have your x of t. You interchange the systems. you first shift this thing you first shift by t not so you shift your input right so now at the output of this particular system you have x of t minus t not now you provide it to your original system you provide it to your original system let's say you have an output y dash of t so now you can have two possibilities this y dash of t right this is the output of the system for the shifted version of the input <clears throat> so so you could have what the two possibility is the first one is that this y dash of t this could be equal to y of t minus t not right and the second possibility is that this y dash of t will not be equal to y of t minus t not y of t minus t not is what this is the original output and then shifted by the amount for the original input right and y dash of t is what it is the output for the shifted version of your input so if y dash of t is equal to y of t minus t not you say that this is a time invariant system whereas if this shifted y dash of t is not equal to y of t minus t not you say that this is a time variant system and 
I believe you've understood the definition now. So time invariant is a system if the behavior is fixed over time. So have a look, the behavior is fixed over time. For time variant, the behavior is not fixed over time. A time shift in the input will result in an identical shift in the output. This is a time invariant system. A time shift in the input will not shift, will not have an identical shift in the output. This is a time variant system. I hope it's clear. Coming to examples. Coming to examples. So the first example that the book say is, let's say I write it over here, y of t is, is, is x of sine of x of t. So I told you x of t is our input, right? So what is this system doing? This is taking the sign of our provided input. So what do you do is, you first delay the output, right? We did what? You delay the output. So this implies that y of t minus t naught would be what? Sine of x of t minus t naught. Fine. Then what do you do? In the next step, you delay input first. So which means that you have x of t minus t naught. Which means now if you provide it to the system which is taking sign of your input. So now the input is this particular thing. So which means that you, you have the sign of this particular input which is t minus t naught. So have a look. This system is what? This is a time invariant system. Because this is your y dash of t, right? So your y dash of t is equal to your y of t minus t naught. So this is a time invariant system. n times x of n. Uh, y of n is n times x of n. So again, you first, let's say, I say the shift the output okay delay a word I've used over here basically this is shifting okay so let's say first I shift the output so which means you have a y of n minus n naught would be what you basically have it till this step right so y of n minus n naught would be n minus n naught multiplied with x of n minus n naught this n is the coefficient right now what do you do? Now you shift the input. So if you shift the input first, so you have n, coefficient will not be shifted. x of n minus n naught. Fine. Now you provide it to the system. The system does what? It multiplies n. Well, this is your input. It's x of n minus n naught, right? The system provides what? This multiplies n to the input. So you have n multiplied x of n minus n naught which is your y dash of n. So have a look, these two are not equal. So which means that this is a time varying system. Fine. Now I have a graph in the group, I, in the book, I discuss this later, right? In the end. So number four is two plus x of t. Let's say over here I have it. y of t is two plus x of t. So, Again, what they do is, you shift the output first. So y of t minus t naught, this would equal 2 plus x of t minus t naught. Now you have a shift in the input. So which means you have x of t minus t naught. Now you feed it to the system. So the system is doing what? The system is basically adding 2 to your input. So which means that you have 2 plus x of t minus t naught. Isn't it so? So this would be a time invariant system. Because the two are equal. Right? But I may, I've written it uh, to be time variant. Why is that? Two plus x of so this is a time invariant system right yes over here i've 
I've written it wrong. This is a time invariant system. Fine? Okay. The next is uh, number four. So we have y of t is equal to x of cos of t x of cos of t right so what do you have is it's so first you shift your output so which means you have y of t minus t naught this would be x of cos of t minus t naught fine now if you shift your input which means you have, have now x of t minus t naught you will have in place of t you have t minus t naught now you provide it to the system so your y dash of t would come out to be x of cos of t right and then you have a shift of minus t naught so have a look these two are not equal so which means that this is a time varying system now this could be a confusing point why did i not take t naught in it because t naught is just a constant, okay? I did not take t naught because t naught is just a constant value of time. It is just representing the shift. Our input variable is what? Our input variable is only t. We have nothing to do with t naught. Fine? So if you have cos of t naught also, that would again be some constant which would again be representing a shift. So this is not an identical shift cos of t into x of t cos of t into x of t so have a look cos of t you have the coefficient right x of t is your input but the coefficient is a function of time no problem so what do you do you shift the output you have the same steps which means what y of t minus t naught this would equal cos of t minus t naught into x of t minus t naught. Now have a look in the output, I am shifting the coefficient as well. Because this is not the output, we don't know what is the coefficient, okay? Over here is the output, you have to just shift everything. But in the input, we know that our input is x of t. So in the input, we will be shifting only x of t, not the coefficient. So now if you shift the, so this is your x of t minus t naught now you provide it to the system so what is the system doing y dash of t it is multiplying cos of t to the input so this would be cos of t times x of t minus t naught so have a look these two are not same and this implies that this is a time variant system fine 2t plus x of t so i have two more to cover I can write it over here, no problem. Number 6 is y of t is 2t plus x of t. So what do you have? Output is shifted to get a y of t minus t naught. This would be equal to 2 times t minus t naught plus x of t minus t naught. And now you shift the input first, so you have x of t minus t naught. And now you provide it to the system, so y dash of t would be what? It would be 2 times t plus x of t minus t naught. So these two are not the same because 2t was not our input, so we have not shifted it. So which means that this is a time variant system. Fine. So uh, the, the book graph, the book graph, so let me draw it over here somewhere. Okay, so where is the book? Over here it is. What does it say? Y of t is given to be x of 2t. Y of t, this is example number 7 I believe. Y of t is given to be x of 2t. You can do it yourself physically, uh, mathematically as well. But I believe here we have a graphical approach. 
So x1 of t is given. This is t. This is x1 of t. The graph is like this. It's between minus 2 and plus 2. This is 1. So again, you have the same phenomena. x1 of t, they have taken as the original signal, right? So what do you do is, you have your uh, x of t, you have the system, you have y of t. So this is your x1 of t. Fine. Let's say this is x1 of t. So if I provide it to the system, which is this one, x of 2t. So which means this would compress the signal, this would come between 1 and minus 1. Step number 1. Step number 1. You have your input, which is x1 of t. You provide it to your system, which is x of 2t. Which means this would be compressing the signal. You have y1 of t. You have y1 of t. This means compress. This you know, fine. I'm not going into the details. So now the signal would come in between 1 and minus 1. This is your y1 of t. Now what do you do is you have to shift it. You have to shift it. And what is the shift in this book that they have given? So this goes uh, y1 of t minus 2. So you have a shift you have a delay by 2 units. Delay by 2 units. So which means the output that you have finally is y1 of t minus 2. So how do you draw it? You draw it like uh, this. So you delay it by 2 units. So it will come to 0 to 3, right? 1 to 3. 1 to 3. 1, 2, 3. This would be y1 of t minus 2. Fine. Now in the next step, what do you do is, for step number 2, you have to shift it first. For step number 2, you have your input x1 of t. Right? Now you shift it. Which means you will delay it by two units, the same two units. So if you delay it by two units, you have an x1 of t minus 2. So which means this one, you are shifting it two units. So which means it would be like this. Uh, x1 of t minus 2. So 0 to 4 it will now go. Fine. Now what do you do is, now you provide it to the system. You provide the shifted origin to the system and the system is x of 2t, which means it is now compressing this thing. It is compressing this thing by 2 units. So finally you have a y2 of t. Fine. So if you, if you compress this signal by a 2 units, so you have a t, you have y2 of t, so, 0 to 4 would now be 0 to 2. Isn't it so? It is. So, which means that y1 of t is not equal to y2 of t. So, this implies that this is a time variant system. Fine. So, that's all about this video. I believe I've taken some time. In the next video, I provide you with some properties, some shortcut method, okay, for, for finding the time invariant system. So, see you there very soon, inshallah. Till then, take care of yourselves and everyone around you. Goodbye.